Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Hemophilia is inherited in X-link recessive fashion, the normal allele, capital H is dominant to affected small h. Question A. What are parental genotypes in the six possible matings with respect to this gene? And instead of using uh, capital H and small h to designate normal and defective allele, I am going to use whole chromosomes uh, in order to designate uh, normal chromosomes that carry uh, normal allele and defective chromosomes that carry uh, defective allele. So uh, what are possible genotypes for female? And so this is sign for female and female may have two normal X chromosomes. So I would use green color in order to show that these two chromosomes has normal allele. Another variant would be that one chromosome would carry defective allele, but the other X chromosome would carry normal uh, allele. And the third variant possible when female would have on both her X chromosomes um, two defective alleles. And as for the male, a male genotype uh, can be whether he can have normal X chromosome and other sex uh, chromosome would be Y chromosome. And the second variant, whether his single X chromosome can be defective and another sex chromosome, which is Y chromosome, still would be uh, good because uh, this chromosome doesn't carry this gene. So that's why males only have two variants of the genotype for this um, genetic disorder, but females has three variants of the genotypes for this genetic disorder. So three multiplied by two would be six possible genotypes. So as you see, six possible matings exist. And um, let me build simple Punnett square. Uh, and let me first list uh, genotypes for females uh, on top. First genotype would be two normal X chromosomes. Second variant can be defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome and the last variant for female would be two defective X chromosomes. As for the male, uh, genotype can be normal X, normal Y and the second variant can be defective X and normal Y chromosome. So once again this is female side and this is male side. Now let's build a simple Punnett square. So how many variants we are going to get? First of all we have here six variants of matings. So three variants for female genotype and two variants for male genotype. But because we are going to get um, children of the different sex, we also can divide the squares by two. Uh, so every square uh, would contain four smaller squares. And now you will see all the possible genotypes of the progeny, including the sexes. So this male may give a normal X chromosome, female may give um, also a normal X chromosome. So normal X chromosome from female side, normal Y chromosome from the male side, normal X chromosome from female side and normal Y chromosome from the male side. 
and it is obvious that two healthy people would have all the progeny that is also going to be healthy. But let's take a look what we are going to see here. Uh, this female may give a defective X chromosome, male would give normal X chromosome, uh, normal X chromosome from female side, normal X chromosome from the male side. And defective X chromosome from the uh, female side and normal Y chromosome from the male side. Once again, uh, we have here normal X chromosome from female side and normal Y chromosome from the male side. And what we can see in next mating of the defective female with normal male. So uh, female can give uh, only defective X chromosome to her progeny and male can give uh, with a normal X chromosome or normal Y chromosome. So uh, once again, as you see, 50% uh, of the progeny are males and 50% of the progeny are females. Now let's take a look what uh, different variants we can get where a male has defective X chromosome and three variants for genotypes of the uh, female. So this person may get um, defective X chromosome from his father side and normal X chromosome from his mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So uh, in next variant of the mating, uh, once again this is going to be a mating between affected male and uh, female would be a carrier. She wouldn't be affected because this is a recessive genetic disorder. So we would see uh, defective X chromosome inherited from uh, mother side and defective X chromosome inherited from the father side. Defective X chromosome inherited from the father side and normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side. And defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side and uh, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. And uh, now the last uh, variant of the mating when a female would be affected because she has two defective alleles on two X chromosomes with affected male. So we would see defective X chromosome from the male side, defective X chromosome from the female side defective X chromosome from the male side and defective X chromosome from the female side. And uh, we also would see defective X chromosome from female side, normal Y chromosome from the male side, defective X chromosome from the female side and normal Y chromosome from the male side. So now we have list all uh, possible outcomes of six possible matings of two variants of the genotypes for male and three variants of the genotypes for female. Now let's return to our uh, questions. So uh, question A, what are the uh, parental genotypes in the six possible matings with respect to this gene? We already uh, list these variants here and in our table. Question B, in which of, the, uh, of these matings are all daughters carriers. So let's take a look. Uh, so let's uh, use some color to circle such uh, variants. And we can see uh, all females are carriers in mating of uh, normal male with uh, female 
who is going to be affected. So all uh, daughters in such a mating would be carers. Another mating that can produce the same results where all daughters would be carers when female is phenotypically and genotypically normal and uh, male would be affected. In this case, uh, all the daughters would be carers. So two such variants exist here. Those you may see, for example, that this female is also carrier, but other 50% of the females of such a mating would be phenotypically normal. So we are only looking for those uh, matings where all uh, daughters would be carriers. And the last question, question C, a couple has an affected daughter and an affected son. What are the parental genotypes? Let's return to our table here. Couple should have affected daughter and an affected son. And this is variant where a female would be a carrier and male parent would be affected. As you see, 50% of the daughters would be affected, 50% would be carriers, 50% of the male progeny would be affected, but 50% would be unaffected. Only one such variant uh, I see here. All the rest variants, for example, here we see two, that 100% uh, of the daughters would be affected and 100% of the male progeny also would be affected. So this is the only variant of the mating that can produce such results. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.